Hello, my friend. I'm Elaine. Welcome to Simply Draw. And today I thought you and I could tackle this little chickadee. I've already done um, a chickadee video, but I, um, I really like this picture. I've done it before. And I just thought as time goes by and our skills hopefully improve, <laughs> our sketches will look better. So I'll just chat for a couple of minutes. You get your scrap piece of paper, get your pen, make sure it's uh, working. I'll make sure that the camera is, you know, or my paper's in the right place since I'm just using this little cell phone holder. And um, so, Get yourself comfortable and put your feet flat on the floor if that works for you and uh, roll up your sleeves and and let's uh, simply draw or try to. So for this little chickadee, as you know, I kind of like to figure out the key features of the bird and do my best to incorporate those key features into the drawing so it's uh, semi-recognizable. So a, a chickadee is a small, uh, extremely active bird and um, the tail is, uh, you know, it's funny because when you see a chickadee in a tree, the tail is actually quite long. And in this picture, it doesn't look like it's it's that long at all. Um, they're a squat, stubby little bird and extremely curious and very active. So um, <laughs> if we can figure out how to draw curious in our picture, I think we'll <laughs> be knocking it out of the park. Okay. I'm shutting up. Let's just get to work. Um, are you ready? You've got your pen, you've got your scrap paper. Um, okay, and as you know, I like to start at this point right above the bill. So if I can make sure that I'm drawing in the picture, I want to make sure that I leave space for that, that tail. And my drawing is always bigger than the picture. I had to take off my sweater. The weather's been a little funny lately and it's just a big thunderstorm that went through and I thought, oh, I can't do gardening so I might as well, this is a perfect opportunity to come in and talk to you. Okay, now I'm totally shutting up. Let's, let's get started. I'm always nervous when I start. Oh, and the table's jiggling the camera. So just pen to paper. And let's get going. Do the forehead. You know what's funny? It's kind of hard drawing this way, like backward. It's kind of like easier drawing this way, but so what? Everything is, everything about drawing is hard at this point. Okay, around. Just stop nattering and keep going to the back of the head. And here, okay, so we're at the, the back of the head. A little bump for his back where those feathers, those gray feathers come in. Now this is the folded wing. Let's get his wing down. And stopping about here. And we've got the tail feather. Now, we're going to leave space for the bill. Gosh, I hope I'm not drawing this outside the camera range. That would like really defeat the purpose of the video. Um, here for his throat. And then it goes straight into his chest. And then curves for his tummy. And 
I got a foot. Leave a space for that leg. I got underneath the tummy. And then we got all the little bum feathers fluffy here. Now we've got this wing. And then we've got another wing folded. And then the under part of the wing. That needs to probably be out more. And then the bum feathers like that. And we've got one leg. The, the leg at the back coming through here. And this front leg. Here. And then feathers. See how narrow this is compared to the drawing or to compared to the photograph? So I'm out by a lot. Good. Now let's go back up and do the bill. It's really kind of determines the angle of his head. He's got his head up a little bit. And we're going to put in this dark band. here and then let's put in his eye I feel like the camera is wobbling all the time and I'm trying not to hit the table leave a little white dot in the eyeball where the light is reflecting off the curve. Okay. And once again, I'm sure yours looks better than mine. Let's just make this white doll a little bit smaller. Okay. Now, Don't panic with all the crappiness, okay? Because what we're going to do now is just fix everything, make it look better. So since I get so easily confused, I keep my finger on the, the lines where I need to put in the markings. So see how this, the black goes right underneath the eye? And then it goes up a little bit, the back of the head. And then goes down here on the back. And then all this is, is dark, which we can like color in later but just do a little bit so that you remember that this is the part that's dark. Yeah, I really feel like the camera is bouncing around a lot today. That's all right. You're, you're supposed to be looking at your own work, not mine. I don't need to watch a video of me coloring in with a pen. Okay. Now, let's go back and do his throat. So there's a little dark patch underneath on the bottom part of the bill. And then for his throat, it comes down. Like that. 
this would kind of want dark as well. It doesn't have to be a great shading job just to keep yourself oriented about what part is dark and what part isn't. So if you're like me, you can get totally screwed up. Okay, now um, let's have a look at this white band here. And this line matches up with this one. It's a little bit of a slight curve to it. And then these gray feathers creep around. chest and then this is, section is the wing so as you can tell like he's he's got a, a black head a black bib a gray back and a golden kind of tummy with a little bit of white so these are the distinctive markings of a black cap chickadee. Let's do the gray feathers along the back. This kind of comes up like this. And then we've got some of these darker feathers on the wing coming through. So let's shade all this gray. Shading gray with her black pen. Okay. Let's continue doing the wing. How's yours coming along? And do this dark gray here. Let's do this and then do the this patch here. This patch here. So you can really kind of get lost if you try to do like all these different little feathers. I hope my finger's not in the way and you can see the reference all right. Just coloring in the shadow that's cast by his wing. The way it's folded and then all the little bum feathers. It's a little bit gray and a little bit shadow, so it's just important to put these little highlights in. 
because that's what kind of gives your drawing a little bit of def definition. Okay, and this part on the chest is is white right here, and then this gets into the really pretty kind of cream color. Can't you tell from the pen? <laughs> not horrible. So now what we can do is just spend the rest of the time fixing them. Let's go back and do the tail feathers. Some are dark with the way the light is catching them and plus some of them are black and then some of the tail feathers um, have uh, white borders. The underneath are going to be in shadow as well as black. Okay, so see in my picture, I think the tail is too short. Let me just bump this out a little bit. Keep a little bit of the shape when we do that. Okay, now let's just figure out where we need to add a little bit more shading, a, bit, a little bit more gray, and just by just fussing a little bit more, we add some more definition to our little birdie. So they can see the black feathers, a little bit of gray. There's lots of lines through here where the wing is folded. Well, that's a boo-boo. This wing doesn't come out that far. Oh well. It's not a boo-boo that sticks out any more than any of the other boo-boos. <laughs> Shade in his bum. No, you know, oh God, please let me not have been coloring outside the camera range for the last 10 minutes. Okay, so the black, um, right by the beak, because the light's not catching that, so he's kind of like a little bit lighter around by the eye and then darker. At the back of the head. You know, it's amazing how much better your drawing can be, even if you like you screw up the proportions and everything, but if you just work on getting in the proper amount of like shading and some highlights and stuff like that, it can really make such a big difference to your picture that it might actually be good enough to put on the fridge. Not quite there yet. Now, See, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like tiny little bits of sh shading underneath the eye and stuff like that. And that's just where 
the feathers don't lie completely flat. I mean, it's not a water bird. His little golden tummy. Okay. Let's do this foot. So with the in the picture, most of his they've got short little legs anyway. And then his foot is curving around and the toes they'll go in like weird angles to actually grip the post. And all this part here is foot. You just see the one big nail coming this side. And back here. This toe also is kind of at a strange, strange to us angle. And then his toe comes around the stump. So if this is all screwed up, don't worry about it. Now let's just figure out how to put this stump in here. And once you do that, you can go back and make sure that the lines defining his feet are properly like around the stump. How's yours look? Now, another thing you can do is just make sure you're adding more sh shadow because his little body is going to be casting shadow on the stump, right? And it's going to be darker, like where his feet are, stuff. No, <laughs> it doesn't look like that in the picture, does it? Okay, there. What do you think? Well, don't tell me. <laughs> don't answer that question. And here's our little chickadee. We've sketched them out. Oh, I said a long time ago that I was trying to get better on measuring and getting my proportions better. So let's, and of course, the drawing is once again bigger than the photograph. But since we are trying to learn, one thing that we can do is is like you see where the bottom of the bill is and how it kind of like matches up almost with the bottom of his the back of his neck so you know we can sort of like measure that um his the bottom of his bib we draw straight across that kind of comes at the bottom of the gray how did we do here oh this could go down a little bit further because we want the bottom of the bib the bottom of his gray. I, I, I tell you, you guys, if you keep practicing, you will get better because I've noticed a big change in my 
the ability to get the proportions uh, correct. So this is screwed up, his, his wing and stuff, but otherwise, and then, you know, f for the eye, I don't know if I've got it in the right place, but if you take the, the picture and go the eye straight down, the front of the eye is on the outside of that toe, the front of the eye. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Okay, I'm shutting up. I'm really glad you kept me company. How long did this take drawing our little chickadee again? So, um, thank you. Thank you for simply drawing along with me and uh, practicing your artwork. I love it. I love the company. So, uh, have a great day. Thank you once again for watching and uh, see you next time.